Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Christmas special. That's right. We are, for the technically fourth race of the season, we're going to be doing a Christmas special at Daytona Snow. Now, I say fourth, and you're probably wondering, well, what happened in race three? Wasn't that going to be Phoenix? Well, the recording got corrupted. And I unfortunately do not have the time to... Not only have to worry about getting Phoenix fixed, but also get Las Vegas out. Part of the reason why we've been in an unintended hiatus. But otherwise, as soon as we get this Christmas special done, I'll focus on Las Vegas. 23 drivers will be competing today. Participating in the holiday spirit. It is a nice... Brisk, negative 195, doesn't look like there's much of any wind, and on the pole will be defending champion Cody Lamas. He'll be alongside uh, a, a, the winner of uh, Taylor Swift Superdome, RJ Bishop. By the way, Miles Lightheart was the person who won the boring wreck fest of Phoenix which ended under caution so basically it's time to go racing once again and to see the chaos that is As you see the cars rolling around at however fast they're fucking going. Apparently. <laughs> however, not all the cars are like right up near each other, so I'm gonna have to restart this race. They still aren't. What the fuck? Oh well. At least the front row is right next to each other. Get ready for 21 laps of Christmas excitement. Green flag is in the air. By the way, I turned the grip way down here, so don't be surprised if we see maybe a spin or two as we see... 75 in the wall. 220 miles an hour in the snow. Here comes RJ Bishop for the lead. And he will take it. RJ Bishop leads the first lap. Lama second. And DJ McCorder, surprisingly, in third. Andrew Eckroth rounds out the field. Assume, yeah, he does. Okay, just making sure. It might be the Lamas and Bishop show. Has come as Lamas tries to go low, but gets blocked by Bishop at the last second. Bishop pulling away now. Everyone looks to be finding their s trying to find the fast line around here. Oh. 
Almost is pulled back up to the back end of Bishop now. I think this is officially an IndyCar race now. Comes Lamas trying to get to the inside. Can't quite get there once again. Bishop continues the lead here at Daytona now. Looks like Lamas is faster coming out of the corners than Bishop is. Yep, he just can't quite get to the inside of Bishop down the back, or coming into turn number three. And that causes Llamas to check up and lose ground. We're only on lap six? Huh. This, this Christmas special is going to be longer than I thought it would be. Front four has separated themselves from the rest of the field, but not by much. You see, the rest of the field is in tow. Actually, this is the closest that any of these guys have been together now. As it looks like Bishop... Might be holding these guys up. He might be a little bit slower than everybody else. Of course, if everybody didn't start so fucking far apart from one another, that would have helped, but alas. Bishop somehow found a way past Lamas and is now holding him up. Of course, Lamas is your defending champion, as we all know. Bishop won at Taylor Swift Superdome. And this guy won at this very track for the two kinds 500. So, there you have it. Looks like the 84 and 90 have now lost ground again to the 1 and the 19. Can Lamas get around Bishop? Can one of the other guys manage to catch up and find a way around? Only time will tell. Gonna, let's go on board, Lamas. Who knows if these guys also have the pit? I actually don't know. Front three all bunched back up together. Looks like the four is trying to find a move. DJ McCorder goes low on Llamas. Lama slows up in the corner. He will lose second now.
as we cross into the second half of this race. There's a new second place car. Can DJ McWhorter win a race? Even if it is an exhibit or exhibition race. Cody Long is trying to get back around in 84. Can't quite get there. In this series, you're still a winner even if you win the, an exhibition event only. Because that means you have at least proven you can cross the finish line first. But if you finish second, well, too bad. That's basically what the series is. If you win, you win. Awesome. Congratulations. Finish second. Screw you. Try again next time. No participation trophies here. Meantime, it looks like RJ is actually now pulling away from DJ. Too many J's. Well, Llamas has... Well, actually, no. Uh, Demax, I mean, has fallen back. It looks like Llamas now trying to look back up to the inside of the 84. But for some reason, hits his brakes entering the corner. Llamas is definitely faster, but he can't. I guess he checks up because he doesn't want to run into these guys. Ooh, McCorder running a higher line with Llamas and Demax. Llamas looking low on McCorder. Can't quite get there. Llamas just, for some reason, hits brakes entering turn three. I don't know why. Nobody else is. That I can at least see. McCorder is faster than Bishop. Llamas is faster than McCorder. Demax is slower than the rest of these guys, unfortunately. So. When they cross the line, we'll have completed two-thirds of this race. Can McCorder get underneath RJ Bishop and take the lead in the closing stages of this race? Will Cody Lomas finally man up? Grow a pair and not break check going into turn three. Can Demax surprise everybody at a super speedway and lay claim to fame for the number 90 for once instead of finishing dead last like he usually does at Daytona? Who knows? Six laps to go now. Front four are all separated now. Have there any been pass? Have there been any passes back here? Literally, no, there hasn't. Holy crap! I suck. Going back up front now. I'm joking, of course. I don't actually suck. I There's some sort of joke here that I think I'm missing, but whatever. This is a Christmas special. It's an ex exhibition event. It doesn't really matter to the rest of the season. I just felt like doing it because, you know, Christmas special. But yet, this is the obligatory Christmas special 500. How about that? That's what we're calling this. The obligatory Christmas special 500. That's the name of this race, folks. As oh boy, pit stops. Llamas now leads. Holy crap! 
Who's going to win now that we know that there's pit stops? As a lot of people are now pitting. Joe is... Joseph and us does now dead last. But only because he's pitting. That, that's not accounting for any actual talent he has in virtual reality. Trust me, he can... He's actually a little bit better than I am sometimes. Sometimes I'm better than... We're about equal footing in online racing. But as for offline... Tally ho! <laughs> well, actually, they can't really compare each other offline because it's all AI anyway. As it looks like literally everybody else is hitting pit road. Which means RJ Bishop, who is now way ahead of the 84, might actually. Let's see, the leaders are now on lap 19, and they're leaving pit road. But here comes Bishop now. Full speed. Oh. I don't like the Max being on track that high, but of course. Oh, boy. Here they come down and back straight away. Bishop to the outside of Lummis now. As Lamas now picks up speed from Bishop. Lamas is now second. Jackie Tang has moved himself up to fourth, I believe. After that pit stop. No, he is... For, oh, yes, he did. He did. Okay. Two laps to go. Everybody pitted. Last car on track is now quick born. Can, well, quite frankly, can Lamas now catch the 19 without slowing into the corner? He doesn't slow into the corner that time. Bye. Coming to the white flag now off of turn number four. One lap to go at Daytona. Lamas is setting him up right here. Has to hit the brake and in the corner, though. I think he's too far back. All Bishop has to do is run his line. Cody Lamas is too far back. R.J. Bishop is going to dominate at Daytona and win the Christmas special. And just like that, uh, wait, oh, what happened to me? I'm going to find out what happened to me real quick. <laughs> People are hitting the grass entering pit road. Well then, I guess that's that. Bishop dominates the exhibition Christmas special. Cody Lamas manages to get back up to second though. McCorder, Tang, Demax, Langathan, Mullen, Miller, and Hayner, and Ariana Parks are your top ten. Ow. Uh. 
But yay, obligatory Christmas. Ow, just hit my mic. Yay, obligatory Christmas special. I guess, I don't know. Well, folks, guess that's all from Daytona for now. Some point within the next. At some point within the near future, Las Vegas is going to be rolling around. No pun intended. So, I guess we'll see you at the next race. So long, folks.